On Thursday last week, the new Nairobi city CEO Robert Duba put his debtors on notice. And today, his neighbors across the street had it rough. Through the Kenya Local Government Workers Union, the city council kept cars away from accessing parking space outside KICC. And those who had already made entry, their cars were clamped. Na mtu yoyote ula mejua kona deni ya Nairobi City Council. Iwe serekali, awe nani. Iyo operation inaendelea. Hakuna kikomo. Paka tufike kwa mtu mkubwa kabisa. Ule hako na deni ya City Council. This called for a crisis meeting between KICC management and the City Council of Nairobi. And before midday, word was out that KICC had agreed to pay the money and give back the parking space to the City Council. Already to shanya kuwa hii hii wa uwanja na ita operate vile sisi tunataka watu wa City Council. Iko chini, iko mikononi mwa Nairobi City Council. Hakuna mtu mwingine ule atapinga. According to the Secretary General of the Local Government Workers Union, Benson Olinga, the City Council has been completely crippled by its debtors. His assistant secretary said it was a matter of their life since the council was now resorting to borrowing money to finance its services. Today being on a fifth, not a single employee of the council has received his or her May, May salary. It's a real challenge. And this is why you saw sometimes last year uh, the council making an extra mile of borrowing from a commercial bank to the tune of five billion so that it could be able to foot some of these bills like the statutory deductions and what have you. These uncollected revenues has, has crippled our operations and that is why the Wanainji has been crying fall. Otherwise, if we could be in possession of these monies, we would be doing wonderful. In total, the City Council of Nairobi is owed 109 billion Kenya shillings and the government is holding 60 billion shillings of that money. Tomorrow, the City Council will reign on the central bank before moving to other debtors who owe them money in parking fee and land rates arrears. Central bank pia iwako na pesa zetu na lazima walipe. Atuwezi kukua tunanyanyaswa na watu, we, watu wame, wa, wako na pesa zetu na wamekalia the council dismissed as untrue claims that they are always zealous on collecting revenue but very irresponsible in using it, saying that if it was true, they wouldn't be owed so much. By the close of day, KICC had agreed to pay the 26 million shillings debt by making a commitment fee of 1.6 million shillings and promising to remit the 24.6 million on Thursday. A city surveyor is expected to land on the KICC parking space tomorrow for demarcation. It is believed that KICC was making between 60 and 80,000 shillings from the parking space daily. Violet Makendo, GBS.